Did you know that the four foot tall waves you see in this small body of water which is located in the middle of the desert in the western United States are actually caused by earthquakes that take place as far as 5,000 miles or 9,000 kilometers away? Welcome to the Devil's Hole. The Devil's Hole is a geothermal pool in the Amargosa Desert located in western Nevada of the United States at an elevation of 730 meters or 2,400 feet above sea level. The temperature of the water remains at a constant 33 degrees Celsius or 91 degrees Fahrenheit. The Devil's Hole's dimensions are 22 meters long by 4 meters wide or 72 feet long by 14 feet wide. While the surface area of the pool is not that large, but what lies underneath is a much larger cavern that reaches 91 meters or 300 feet long and 12 meters or 40 feet wide. It is also known as Acre's Chasm, which is about 90 meters or 300 feet below the surface. The depth of the Devil's Hole could be as deep as 500 to 600 feet or around 150 to 180 meters deep and has been found to be connected to the Death Valley Regional Groundwater Flow System and may even reach far beyond that. The Devil's Hole is also home to a unique endangered species called the Devil's Hole Pupfish which feeds off the algae that is present in the upper part of the pond. One of the most interesting and spooky aspects of Devil's Hole is that distant earthquakes many thousands of miles away can trigger the water to slosh back and forth with waves as high as anywhere from 1 to 4 meters or 3 to 15 feet. So how does a distant earthquake thousands of miles away cause the water to slosh around out here in the middle of the desert? This eerie geological phenomenon is called a seismic seish or desert tsunami, which is a standing wave inside a closed or partially enclosed body of water. Some seiches are meteorological in origin, such as wind pushing water on a lake, but in this case it is geological in origin caused by distant earthquakes. While this strange phenomenon is not fully understood, it may have something to do with seismic waves that reach a frequency that is too low to be felt or heard far from the epicenter. The frequency of the seismic waves that reach the Devil's Hole is just right, about 15 seconds apart, enough to resonate the water inside the cave to make the waves, which increase in intensity. If the frequency is too fast, the waves are not that high, but if the seismic waves are slow enough, the water waves can resonate and become more intense. When an earthquake happens, the seismic waves decrease in frequency as it travels far from the epicenter. In this demonstration, I will rapidly move my hand in the tub to make the water slosh, which represents the high frequency seismic movement. But here you can see the waves are not that large and therefore confined to the tub. Now when I move my hand slowly through the water, which represents a very low frequency, the waves get larger and taller until they spill out of the tub due to resonance. Basically what happens, as seismic waves move farther from the epicenter, the frequency gets less and less. Another theory that was brought up by geologists suggested that the compressive waves underneath may squeeze the aquifer, causing the water level to fluctuate up and down just like squeezing a plastic water bottle, thus causing the water level to rise and fall. This footage, shot by the National Park Service on the 19th of September 2022, shows the water sloshing around inside the Devil's Hole that was caused by a 7.6 magnitude earthquake located 1,500 miles or 2,400 kilometers away in western Mexico. The sloshing started about 15 minutes after the earthquake struck. There were similar seiches that were witnessed at the Devil's Hole that took place in 2012, 2018, and 2019 respectively. In fact, a 7.9 earthquake that took place in Alaska in 2018, which is located 2,000 miles or 3,200 kilometers away, also caused the water to slosh around violently at the Devil's Hole. Seiches at the Devil's Hole usually happen after a 7 or above magnitude distant earthquake. 